Hey, this is Richard Cooper. Thanks for checking out my video. Hey, listen, I wanted to share a real uh, a, a few pointers on uh, some quick tips on how you can get more likes and and potential followers and, and friend requests on Facebook. Well, you know, social media is a really big uh, tool and it's a really big platform where you can reach m millions of people. And these are just not millions of people or within your region, but um, we're talking about millions and billions of people globally, uh, um, especially in areas of the world that have access to the internet. So if you want to know a great way to get uh, more, more friends, requests, and followers, first and foremost, you want to make sure that your profile is set up in such a way that is friendly and inviting and it's branded to you. So look at my Facebook page. My Facebook page says my name, I've got a branded picture of me wearing a blazer and a shirt. And I got a little picture here of a uh, tropical island. I love this picture because this is one of the places that I'm planning on visiting. I have no idea where it is, but I'm going someplace like it. Um, and then you want to make your, your Facebook page engaging. You want to make it so that um, it's friendly for people to look at. Um, and uh, some more tips is, is you also want to make sure that your Facebook page does not contain um, any negativity. Now, granted, this is a free country or wherever it is that you're from, you can post whatever you want on your page. Just keep this rule of, of, uh, of thumb it, or of thought. Keep this rule of thought. If you want to attract a certain type of targeted people to your Facebook page, you're going to want to make the theme and the message on your Facebook page the type of message that of the people that you want to attract. So if you want to attract drama, negativity, then you're going to post drama and negativity on your Facebook page. Let me give you an example here. So my Facebook page, if you notice, I've got, I post motivational quotes and some hashtags. I, I'll see some videos and stuff on YouTube and different things like that. Um, this one here is a picture of my family uh, all 10 of us, actually, that it was taken back in uh, April of um, 2016 when we all got together for a family reunion. And then I have some little quotes in there that I came across and little silly things like when I went to Panera Bread, I said, I love me some Panera Bread and, um, and different things like that. And, you know, there's different things that uh, I'm partnered with people where we do Facebook lives and then I may find some tools and stuff that I send on there and just different motivational quotes and uh, so I try to make it and I'll post like different eye-catching pictures and things like that because the purpose is I'm looking to attract people uh, to me to get to know me as a person and uh, engage with me and, and of course I engage with them and one of the biggest tips too is anytime that you get a friend request someone make it a point to personally go to their wall uh, when it says make sure you visit their wall and leave a comment on their wall not a spammy comment just something I usually say something like hey um, John or Jane thanks a lot for the friend request and be sure to drop by my page and say hello with a smiling face and sometimes I might even have a picture that I may have recently take, taken to post because it stands out um, and that's just a way of engaging people so those are just my tips of uh, helping you to attract more people and get more friends and followers to your Facebook page. And also the same thing in regards to your Twitter account. Um, you want to make sure your social media accounts are, are, are identical. And let me give you an example. So you can see the theme, the header on my Facebook page is actually in, in the profile picture. This is what it looks like. So you want to make sure your social media accounts are actually mirroring one another. And as you can see, this is my Twitter page, one of my Twitter pages actually. And uh, oh my goodness, my, my phone's going off, which means I'm getting a bunch of Twitter tweets <laughs> or people responding and then also Facebook as well. If you notice that my Facebook, I mean my Twitter page uh, mirrors that of my Facebook, um, you know, there's a slight difference in them. Uh, only because of the Facebook platform, but uh, there we go. And then, because Facebook obviously has a different format, but you get the picture. So basically, that's what you want to do. So those are my tips, my top tips for 
uh, attracting more people and getting more uh, friends and, and followers on Facebook and of course making your profile friendly for people. So if you enjoy the video, please feel free to subscribe um, so you can get all of the videos that I have coming out. Also, there is a link in there for you to connect with me on Facebook and I'd love to, to, to hear what's going on in your world and offer you some tips and uh, I'll share with you what's been working for me too. So if you're looking for a way to, if you're in a business and you're looking for a way to generate more uh, traffic to your business or more followers, um, I do, we do have a program that we work with you on and I'll personally be one of the people that are coaching and take you through those steps to help you to be able to generate more traffic and things like that for your Facebook page or and help you to get more followers and different things like that. So thanks again for stopping by and checking out the video and I hope you have a great day. This is Richard Cooper.